Hello student, today we are going to discuss an important topic that is income from house property. Basically we know when we think about the income for the purpose of income tax, there are five bits of income. The first important head is income from salary and now the second important head of income is that the income from house property. So. Basically, we need to know the meaning of income from house property for the purpose of income tax. Basically, uh, we uh, uh, just think about it. It is there are a different meaning of uh, uh, income from house property for various purposes. But uh, when we specifically think about the income from uh, house property. Uh, for the purpose of income tax or uh, as per income tax act 1961 the meaning of uh, income from house property is that when any income received in terms of rent when any income received in terms of rent from house property that means when we uh, that particular owner of the house property is due that particular uh, house or house property on rented basis to another person and another person pay the rent to that particular owner of the house property at that time we say that it is the income from house property so this is the simple meaning of income from house property uh, in short when any rent received from that particular house property uh, when that particular house property let out or give uh, given on the rental basis to another person and another person Pay the rent to that particular owner of the house property at that time it is to be said that income from house property so for the purpose of income from house property there are certain conditions when we uh, said that that particular income is the income from house property following condition must be satisfied for income from house property if these in, uh, these conditions are fulfilled by that particular transactions or that particular income only in this case we say that it is the income from house property the first important condition is that property consisting of any building or apartment or apartment or house or land that means that uh, uh, that means a rent which is received from that particular uh, property that property must be consist of that property uh, may be uh, either it is a building or apartment or apartment or house or land and uh, that uh, in the, in that case any rent received from that particular property only in this case it is to be said that this is the income from house property but the second condition is also important for the purpose of income from house property that is assessee should be owner of the property okay when it is to be said that it is the income from house property when that property uh, when that particular person give that property on rental basis but that property should be uh, that property uh, means ownership of that particular property should be assessee okay so assessee should be owner of that particular property if owner is not or assessee is not uh, sorry assessee is not an owner of that particular property and in this case some income received from that particular property to the assessee in this case such income is not treated as income from house property even such income received from that particular property but if the Oh, uh, that particular uh, uh, assessee oh, okay assessee that means a person who received the income from that particular property and he or she is not the owner of the property so it is not considered as a income from house property so the third important condition is that when a particular uh, income is derived when property must be let out for the purpose of income from house property we need to 
let out that particular property but sometime uh, that particular uh, assess how the uh, house property but uh, that particular owner is used that house property for personal use that is called self occupied house property in this case there is no any income received from that particular house property to the assess but even uh, in this case maybe there are some losses from that particular house property and uh, it is treated as a income from house property but basically when we think about the income at that time it must be let out okay that means it uh, must be given on rental basis the fourth one is property used for business is not treated as income from house property for example uh, person a have a some house property and that particular house property he has or she has used for his own business his own business here that particular house property used for business purpose in this case there is no any rent or issue from that particular house property and it is not treated as a income from house property so it is a uh, uh, important uh, considerations so if the following conditions are fulfilled only in this case that particular income is called the income from house property now the type of house property for the purpose of income tax when we uh, we uh, trying to calculate the income from house property we need to decide the type of house property for the purpose of calculation of income from house property and for the purpose of uh, calculation of income from house property as per the income tax act for the calculation of income tax basically house property are classified into three broad categories the first category is let out house property the second is deemed to be let out house property and number uh, third is self occupied house property now we discuss one by one so what is let out house property when any house property is given on rental basis to another person and another person paid rent to the owner of the house property that means there is some income generated in this case from that particular house property and such house property is called the let out house property see a house property which is transferred for use in consideration of rent is called let out house property so basically uh, when income is generated from that particular house property when that particular house property given on let out basis okay now the second type is deemed to be let out house property okay basically uh, uh, we, uh, when we think about the use of house property there are only two possibilities one is that that particular house is given on rental basis to another person and in this case we say that such a house property is called the let out house property and second uh, chance is that that particular house property is constructed by that particular assc and that assc is the owner of that particular house property but it is not given on rental basis but it is used for personal use for their family for their residence okay when that particular house property is used for their personal use at that time such house property is called the self occupied house property okay see self occupied house property is such a house property which is used for self residence of the owner so such property cannot earn any income many time such house property uh, incurred the loss cause of so certain expenditure on the mortgage loan of that particular house property construction or purchase of the house property so valuation of self occupied house property is always mean or minus okay as per income tax act only any two houses should be considered but there is there are limitations if that particular owner or that particular assc have five houses and all are used for self occupied purpose that means for self residence of the owner but as per the income tax act it is not considered it is not allowed to use all the five 
houses, all the 10 houses, all the 15 houses. As per the income tax act, for the purpose of calculation, maybe he can or she can use all houses for his residence purpose. That means all houses valuation is nil. No, income tax, as per the income tax act, it is not allowed. So uh, that particular person have pay some or show some income uh, of that particular house property. But in, as per the income tax act, the limit of self-occupied house properties are two. Okay, as per income tax act, only any two houses should be considered as a self-occupied house property. And if more than two, if more than two, for example, we say that uh, person A have five houses and uh, all the houses uh, he is or she is used for self-residence of the owner of, uh, that means a person A, but it is not, uh, not allowed as per the Income Tax Act. So only any two houses should be considered as self-occupied house property and if more than two rest are considered rest are considered for calculation of income from that house, that particular house property and such house property the rest three houses that means two uh, are considered as a self-occupied house property and rest three are considered as deemed to be let out house property for the purpose of calculation and the deemed to be let out house property is the second type of house property. So it is the uh, middle of let out house property and self-occupied house property. When any property is given on rental basis to another person at that time, it is to be said that let out house property. And if that particular house property is used for personal purpose or personal residence or family residence, such house property is called the self-occupied house property, but for the purpose of income, uh, for the purpose of calculation as per the income tax act, only two houses should be considered or allowed for self-occupied house property if if that particular person or assets have more than two houses. So, what about the rest? If that particular person a have five houses, two should be considered as self-occupied. And what about the rest three? If that particular three houses are given on the rental basis, automatically it is considered as let out house property. But, but that particular person not given that rest three houses on rental basis, that particular houses are maybe vacant or maybe he uh, reside in that particular house property at that time, such house property is, uh, is considered as deemed to be let out house property. So according to income tax rules, if property holder owns more than two residential properties, only two of the uh, those can be considered to be self-occupied house property. The other should either be let out, that means let out, or even if they are not actually rented out, if it is not given on rented basis, even not given on rental basis, that means not let out, they will be deemed to be properties that have been let out. In this case, expected rent. So in this case, we have to calculate the expected rent and the expected rent is the valuation of such house property. So in this case, expected rent is the valuation of such remaining house property other than self-occupied house property. So this is for Today's so from this lecture we learn about the what is what is meaning of uh, income from a house property for the purpose of income tax act. The second is uh, some conditions which are which need to fulfill for the purpose of income from house property and types of house property for the purpose of income tax that is uh, let out house property. Second one is uh, deemed to be let out house property and last one is self-occupied house property. So thank you.